Hi, my name is Corey Goss, and today I'll be walking you through a quick introduction to the System C, C, and C++ debug capabilities within our SimVision debug solution. Here's a quick idea of the things that we'll be covering within this video. Now, we're using the same demo environment we've used in previous videos, however, we have made some slight modifications to the code. On the System Verilog side, we have a number of DPI C uh, declarations, two imports and one export. And on the C side, we have one extern uh, declaration on the drive task, which we'll be calling within System Verilog. Now, what's happening in this environment is that on every clock cycle, we're calling the task write. Now, this write task does two things. The first is it calls the C write function, which is implemented over in C code. And the C write, in turn, calls write back into System Verilog to call the drive task which, which uh, places the address and data onto the C adder and C data lines. Now the last thing that the write task does is it prints the uh, address and data out to the screen. So let's take a quick look now at the demo. So in the demo, uh, what we have is you'll see our imports. So here is our three import, two imports and one export over on the DPI uh, C. And um, the first thing we want to do when working with system CC and C++ debug is we call s simulation and we set system CC C++ debug. Now this does about three different things within the environment. First is you'll notice that there's now a GDB tab down on the bottom. So for example here I can execute any kind of GDB command that I'd like and what I've just done is printed out breakpoint information. Now the next thing you'll notice is that the, a number of toolbars have been added to the solution. So uh, in the source browser, for example, we can now set a watch point on a selected C or C++ variable. I can uh, interrupt the GDB debugger to return control back over to, um, uh, to the simulator. I can also take a look at all of my C files that have been implemented. And here's the uh, test.c file, which I have included in the environment, which has the C write and the printed functions. And the last thing we see here is a function dropdown. And this function, um, actually it's not a dropdown, it's a function button, but what the button gives you access to is all of the user functions, which you can set a breakpoint on, and you can filter away what you're looking for, and you can just highlight and click OK, which would set a breakpoint on that particular function. But that's not the only way to set a breakpoint. You can also expand out the test.c file and notice that you'll see all of the functions. So this function, all I need to do is right click and say set a function breakpoint. Right, the same on the print it. And uh, from here now what I can do is I can run. Uh, but before I run, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the uh, built-in predefined layout for system CC and C++ debugging. Now these layouts are a feature within SimVision and the way we access this is to say window, layout, system C, C++, C++ debugging. And what this does is this just reorients the windows in a fashion that's uh, conducive to doing C and C++ debug. Um, it gives you the, uh, the uh, variables table down in the bottom, as well as a call stack, or you can switch over to the file browser if you'd like. You have your source code here, and um, also the GDB console down in the bottom right. Now, I'm going to run the simulation, and you'll find that the first breakpoint is encountered. This is our C write function. Now, down in the variables table, I can add in, by clicking here, I add the parameters that were passed in to this function. So we see address and data. I can also add in the locally defined variables, in this case, temp adder and temp data. Now, we don't have source annotation in C, but what we do have is if you hover over any of these particular variables, you'll see the actual scalar value that's represented by them. So this is a, a hover box to give you the source annotation. Now I can single step through my code in the same way that I can single step through my HDL. And you'll notice a couple of things happening here. So watch down in the variables table as I click through here. You'll see the temp adder now switches to red. This is because on the last line of execution, temp adder took on a new value. And if I click again, you'll see the same thing will happen for temp data. Uh, notice that they're all in regular font, non-italicized. Now, I'm going to run to the next breakpoint. And what we'll be in is we'll be inside the print it function. Now, notice something interesting has happened to our variables here. They're now italicized and they're grayed out. This means that these are not actually in scope. And these are the last known values to be in these particular variables. 
Now I can add in the new variables um, from the printit function and you'll see that these are now normal font and non-italicized. Now one other thing I'd like to show here is that all of the breakpoints that we've managed in, uh, in GDB, these two breakpoints we've set, we can get an idea of uh, those through the GDB prompt by saying info break. But now notice also that if I just simply click on um, the options toolbar button here, and if I look at my breakpoints on the SimVision side, the breakpoints will mirror what you see over in GDB. So we have two breakpoints in GDB, and if I enable or disable these, you'll see that the corresponding breakpoint disable button, uh, uh, sorry, commands are executed on the GDB prompt. So this is a way to keep these two solutions in sync with each other, and they, uh, there's really only one place you'll need to manage all of your breakpoints, and that's within SimVision. Now, something else to note here is that we're currently in C code, but at the same time, I could simply go over into my HDL code, and I could search on those uh, C adder and C data, right? C adder and C data, and I could add those over to a waveform window. There's nothing to prevent me from debugging on both sides at the same time. So I'll just hit Control W. This will send these out to a breakpoint, uh, sorry, to the waveform window, and you'll see now that I can also do uh, debugging on uh, my HDL at the same time. And uh, if I wanted to see more values here, I just need to click run a few more times so that we'll get some changes on that line. And now you'll see that we have variables being changed. So that's a quick walk through some of the uh, system CC and C++ debug capabilities within our SimVision solution.